Gigantic ships are some of the most complex and massive structures ever created by human hands. From cargo ships that carry thousands of containers across the world to colossal cruise liners that house entire cities on water, their construction is a testament to engineering, precision, and planning on an enormous scale. But how are these massive vessels built? And what exactly goes into creating a ship that can weigh hundreds of thousands of tons? Every massive ship begins as an idea. Before a single steel plate is cut, extensive planning and design work is conducted. Shipbuilding starts in design offices, where naval architects, engineers, and planners collaborate to create a concept that meets the intended purpose of the vessel, whether it's transporting goods, carrying passengers, or serving industrial functions like drilling. Ship design is a highly iterative process. Engineers use advanced CAD software, computer-aided design, to produce intricate digital models of the ship's structure, systems, and components. These models ensure the vessel is hydrodynamic, stable, and able to perform under the harshest sea conditions. Every aspect of the ship, its hull shape, engine placement, cargo hold size, and even plumbing, is planned down to the smallest detail. Simulations play a key role in this phase. Hydrodynamic tests, for instance, simulate how the ship will behave in water. This includes resistance tests to minimize drag, ensuring the ship is as fuel efficient as possible. Engineers also simulate the structural integrity of the vessel to ensure it can withstand immense pressures at sea. After the designs are finalized, shipbuilders move to the next phase. The primary material for constructing gigantic ships is steel. Thousands of tons of high-strength steel plates are sourced from steel mills. This steel must meet stringent quality standards, as even minor defects can compromise the integrity of the ship. Steel is shipped to shipyards in massive sheets, where the preparation process begins. At this stage, workers and machines clean and cut the steel to the exact dimensions required. Modern shipyards rely heavily on automation. Computer-controlled plasma cutters, laser cutters, and robotic machines carve out precise sections of the ship, reducing waste and ensuring accuracy. These steel sections form the backbone of the vessel, its hull, deck, and structural frames. Cut steel plates are sometimes bent or welded into specific shapes using hydraulic presses and heat treatment methods. This process, called plate forming, ensures the steel fits the complex curvature of the hull. Gigantic ships are not built as a single structure. Instead, they are constructed in modular sections called blocks. These blocks are essentially large, pre-assembled pieces of the ship that are built individually in workshops or fabrication bays. This method is known as modular construction. Each block may contain multiple floors, machinery spaces, or sections of the hull. It's not unusual for a large ship to be composed of 100 or more massive blocks, some of which weigh hundreds of tons. Blocks are constructed with precise dimensions, with openings for pipes, cables, and ventilation systems already prepared during this stage. Once the blocks are ready, they are transported to the building dock, where the ship will take shape. Depending on the shipyard, blocks may be moved using massive cranes, transporters, or even floated into position using barges. The building dock itself is a marvel of engineering. In many cases, it's a dry dock, a massive, enclosed basin that can be drained of water. Workers position the first blocks, usually the keel, the backbone of the ship, and weld them together. Block by block, the ship begins to grow, like a gigantic puzzle taking shape. Welding is the primary method for joining the massive steel sections of the ship. Because of the scale of modern ships, miles of weld seams must be completed. Automated welding machines are used extensively to ensure consistency and speed, while skilled welders focus on areas requiring precision. The welding process is laborious and time-consuming, but it is critical for maintaining the strength of the ship. Each weld is inspected rigorously, using methods like X-ray or ultrasound scanning, to ensure there are no weaknesses or cracks. Defects in welds could lead to catastrophic failures during the ship's operation. As the ship's structure takes shape, the focus shifts to installing internal systems. Gigantic ships require extensive machinery and equipment, including engines, piping systems, electrical wiring, and navigation systems. The heart of most massive ships is their engine room. The main engine, often a diesel engine, 
is installed early in the process because of its enormous size and weight. Some container ships use engines that stand several stories tall and generate tens of thousands of horsepower. Auxiliary systems, like generators, fuel pumps, and exhaust systems, are installed alongside. Pipes for water, fuel, and ventilation systems weave through the ship-like arteries, while thousands of cables are laid to connect power, communication, and navigation systems. Modern ships also rely on advanced computer systems for navigation and automation, which are integrated at this stage. Workers install fixtures and fittings, from bulkheads to cargo hatches. For passenger ships, this phase includes the assembly of cabins, restaurants, and recreational facilities. Once the structural work and major installations are complete, the ship undergoes painting. The hull is coated with special anti-corrosion paints to protect the steel from seawater and marine organisms. Many ships also receive an anti-fouling coating to prevent barnacles and algae from attaching to the hull, which helps reduce drag and fuel consumption. Painting the exterior and interior of a ship is a major undertaking, requiring specialized teams working on scaffolding or suspended platforms. Final touch-ups are completed during this phase, ensuring the ship is seaworthy and visually ready for its role. With construction complete, the ship is ready to launch. In dry docks, the basin is flooded with water, allowing the ship to float for the first time. Alternatively, in slipway launches, the ship slides down a ramp into the water. These moments mark a significant milestone for shipbuilders, as years of work culminate in the ship taking to the sea. However, the ship is not yet ready for service. Before delivery, it undergoes sea trials. During these trials, the vessel's performance, stability, and safety systems are rigorously tested. Engineers and crew monitor the engine's performance, maneuverability, and fuel efficiency, ensuring everything meets the required standards. Sea trials can take days or even weeks, depending on the size and complexity of the ship. Any faults or necessary adjustments are addressed before the ship is officially handed over to its owners. The process of building gigantic ships is a remarkable combination of technology, engineering, and human effort. From the initial design stages to the final launch, constructing these vessels requires years of planning, precision, and labor. Gigantic ships form the backbone of global trade, enabling the transport of goods across continents. They connect economies, support industries, and provide essential services to the modern world. So, the next time you see a cargo ship stacked with containers or a massive cruise liner on the horizon, consider the immense effort that went into bringing it to life, a floating testament to engineering ingenuity and industrial progress.